Good morning. Thanks for joining us for devotions. Our reading today is Psalm 34, verses 11 to 18. Come, O children, listen to me. I'll teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is there who desires life and loves many days that he may see good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous and his ears toward their cry. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil, to cut off the memory of them from the earth. When the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. The Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. I love the way that this, uh, well, not this psalm, I suppose, (laughs) this reading begins at verse 11, but I love the way that this reading begins. Come, O children, listen to me. I'll teach you the fear of the Lord. You can picture a father gathering up his children, or maybe a grandpa gathering up his grandchildren or grandma, somebody like that. But it's (laughs) gathering the children around and say, hey, I'm going to teach you the most important thing that you could ever possibly learn, the fear of the Lord. And he goes through and he gives them advice. Uh, Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Turn away from evil, do good. The eyes of the Lord are toward the righteous. Stay on the straight and narrow. Uh, Be careful what you say. Uh, Turn away from evil. Uh, It it may look like fun, but follow your conscience that the Lord has given you. Follow the word of God and stay away from evil and do the good things. Because the Lord is with uh, those who are righteous. The face of the Lord is against those who do evil to cut off the memory of them from the earth. But when the righteous cry for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of all their troubles. Now, does that mean that the Lord only hears those who live perfectly? No. That's not talking about that kind of righteousness. It's talking about the righteousness that comes uh, through faith in the gospel, through faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. And faith in Christ means trusting Him. It means trusting that His ways are best, trusting that His word, His instructions to us are what's good for us. That uh, what He tells us to do is actually the way that we ought to be doing things. And so when it says the righteous cry for help and the Lord hears, it means that those who are saved by the blood of Jesus, the Lord hears. The Lord promises to hear the prayers of those who trust in Him. And trusting in Him, part of that means doing what He tells us to do. And then it just sums it up so nicely in verse 18. Uh, Why do all these things? Why keep your tongue from evil and your lips from deceit? Why turn from evil and do good? Why trust the Lord? Why be righteous? Because the Lord is near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. This is kind of the, well, you wouldn't call it the reason for our hope. The reason for our hope is the resurrection uh, that we have through Jesus' death and resurrection for us. But this is why we love the Lord. Because He's the one who saves the brokenhearted and who is near to the crushed in spirit. He's the only one that can actually help us out in those kinds of circumstances. Other, There will be other, uh, what would we call them, earthly props maybe, that might seem for a time like they can be helpful. But in the end, they're all going to let us down, except for the Lord, because He's the one who's near to the brokenhearted and saves the crushed in spirit. So, trust Him, follow Him, do what He says to do, and um, trust Him to be near in those difficult times. Even more, teach others to trust in Him. Teach your children. Children, teach your parents. Teach your friends. Teach relatives and neighbors and, uh, well, whoever's around about the fear of the Lord. About fearing the Lord who is near to the brokenhearted, who saves the crushed in spirit. Not out of, you know, uh, terror because he's going to condemn, but an invitation to say, I know somebody who can help even in the most difficult times of life. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are there for the brokenhearted, and that you save those who are crushed in their spirits. We thank you for being there for us in the most difficult times in our lives. We thank you most especially that you sent your Son to save us from our worst enemy, our most difficult thing in life, sin, death, and condemnation. We thank you for his resurrection that promises our resurrection as well, and we ask that you would hold us in that hope forever. In his name we pray. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us today. You all have a good one.